Easy does it number one. Try ten. I think I'm just gonna keep going until I get this open. Might also upload my first attempt at this. First attempt from tonight at least. Later. Because what I didn't think was gonna be a good enough time appears to be the best time I'm gonna get with this. Okay, that was actually better than my first attempt. I don't know exactly how long that took me, though, but uh, it worked. Got it open. Glad I changed up tension wrenches again. Okay, let's lock it back up and gut it. This is, I think, the first challenge lock I ever picked. Came from the average picker. In fact, I have three challenge locks, and they all came from the average picker, I think. I don't know. I should look. Well, there's some I made. Uh. Followers out, try to speak clearly, try not to sniffle. Watching back some of my content and realizing I mutter way too much in these videos, so I'm attempting to speak more clearly. Previously picked Easy Does It number two, which had a core that looked like this, which is, as you can probably tell, a non modified core. There aren't even any serrations cut into the side of it. However, I'm pretty sure you can tell with Easy Does It number one, that's not the case. In fact, all of the holes have been modified in some way. Let's uh, take a look at the bottom pins. Okay, we've got a nice little serration at the top. Players, tweezers. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice looking pin. For the first slot. Number two is looks pretty stock. Number three has a yeah, two rope. Actually, I think it's multiple rows. I'm not sure how many exactly. Come on, focus. At least two rows of cuts. Fourth pin has a pretty deep cut in it. And 
I believe the fifth pin is stock. Yes. Pretty small. Let's take a look at the top pins. Ooh, fancy. Nice cuts. Nice little serrations. The lower one is deeper, but there's also one near the top. Very similar to the first lock. Another serrated pin. I say first lock, very similar to the first pin, first top. Uh, ooh. You know, I've never made, been able to successfully make good homemade pins. Something I really should work on again. That is more of a spool. Yeah, I'd definitely call that a spool. And kind of a T pin. Cute little thing though. Okay, so it appears that the hardest lock to pick was the lock with the commercially made spools in it. And I'm pretty sure someone predicted that at some point for these. Uh, locks. So, they were right. Uh, thanks for watching, folks, and I hope everyone's having a great day. And if uh, people are interested, post a comment down below if you want me to make another series of videos similar to this, only using one lock. So, it'll be more of a clear comparison between what it's like to pick it when it's stock, then what it's like to pick with stock, except for switching out the top pins to commercial to spools or serrated pins or a combination of the two. And then what it's like when I go in and make some modifications to the core. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing another video like that, let me know. And uh, either way, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.